there are two messages that you are going to start to see more and more in these uh, real estate ads on social media, on the radio and everything. First one is um, we are back to what was happening in 2022. Look at the stats. Uh, everything matches what was happening in 2022. Uh, technically, they are correct, uh, especially if you might compare like May, June, maybe even July, because um, technically they're right, but uh, you have to keep in mind Last year, by April, like April and early May, the market was already on a decline because because that's when the rate hikes started coming in and then people started backing off from their purchases. So they are comparing a market that's on the rise, which is this year, to a market that was on a decline last year. So yes, the prices and the stats might match what's happening in May and June, maybe even July, but it's nothing close to, not anywhere close to what was happening at the peak of the market, which was last January, February, and March. So don't get fooled by somebody saying, hey, everything is back to normal. What was happening last year is happening now. Uh, that is simply not the case. The second one that you might see pop up more and more, um, like everything is selling with multiple offers. You know, like you got to jump in before it's too late. Yeah. Uh, the reason there are more and more multiple offers happening in fact, I made a video about this just a couple of days ago. You might want to check that out if you guys want to get a breakdown of how many multiple offers are happening region by region and how they have changed month by month. So you can check that out. But the reason we are seeing more and more multiple offers is because more and more houses are being listed to get multiple offers. But what I mean is more and more houses are being listed below market value to get that kind of interest, to get multiple offers. So that is a simple uh, truth behind it. It's not rocket science. It's not like a magic formula. Now, I'm not saying this is right or wrong, like the whole multiple offer situation, because uh, sometimes it is the best possible way to get the sellers the best possible price. And I've done it myself when the market's busy. I'm not going to lie. Uh, your duty when you represent the seller is to protect his or her best interests. So those are the two messages that I want you to kind of be careful of uh, when people present you this stat. Like market is busy, but it's nothing like what was happening last year at the peak of the market. So do your own research. Um, you know, a lot of the information is available online, publicly available. So do a lot of your own research and don't fall for tricky ads. I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.